we're exhausted. Uh, I got COVID myself last March. Um, many of my staff have gotten COVID. Uh, so we are dealing with the daily danger that we could get this disease. Even the vaccination uh, event was massive. It relieved so much stress. Uh, and yet still, um, we have lost so many staff members over the last year. Uh, we regularly are short-staffed. We regularly are short on nurses. Um, and everyone who's there is uh, tired and is frustrated and is just having so much real difficulty dealing with the fact that at this point, a lot of this is avoidable. Um, and I say that with all respect and love, uh, but, but we have the capacity to not get sick from this disease. We have the capacity to avoid straining the healthcare system anymore. Uh, and we, your healthcare providers, would, would <laughs> I think, universally beg you to get, to get vaccinated. Um, we're tired. Uh, we are tired of seeing people die. We are tired of uh, not being able to take care of the other people who need our care uh, because we are so caught up in the COVID crisis. Um, I have had uh, instances during the height of COVID where I was taking care of three diabetic QS doses patients. Uh, each of whom were critically, critically ill. And I was doing it at 10 uh, with a 10 to 1 nursing ratio, which just is, is insane. Um, there are places in America that are back at that point now. My community is not because we have a more vaccinated community. Uh, but uh, we are there all over the country uh, and ICUs and hospitals are overrun again. And so uh, please um, take care of yourself uh, and also take care of others. If you need critical care for any reason, it will not be available uh, in a community that's strained.